Today we're going to be talking about the DJI Mini 2 and I don't actually have it with me. However, here's a little picture of one if you haven't already seen the reviews because it's 2022 and undoubtedly you've already seen Is It Worth It? The reviews, year long review. But have you seen it being reviewed on Safari? I don't think so. And that is where we were. We were in Namibia shooting amazing wildlife using the DJI Mini 2. And you know what? It was pretty amazing. And I've got a few things to talk about. But firstly, my name is Murray Forbes and this is CM Travels. And if you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, as well as the notification bell, so you know when we'll be releasing the next video. Now first things first. Thank you to all of the current subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Love to answer all of the comments and questions, and I will really try my hardest to get back to those of you who are interested in some of the footage that you've seen today, or you want to know more about the company. Also, t-shirt link in the description below. See him travels. But uh, if you want to do something for free, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and the notification bell, so you know when we'll be releasing our next video. Now, check back into the DJ. So it's 249 grams, very light, very portable, as everyone else has said, it fits in your pocket. However, the remote is slightly larger, but very, very user-friendly. I have never flown a drone until I use this one, because I borrowed this one from a friend of mine, and I was apprehensive, nervous, because it's got no obstacle protection thingy sensors. So if you fly it into a tree, it's not stopping until it hits the tree and falls down. As you can see here in the footage, I looked back over my shoulder to make sure that I wasn't hitting the tree while it was doing its circle quick time quick shot thingy, my bobby. And um, the quick shots are really nice, but it doesn't track you if you're moving. Bit of a downside for me personally, as I was the only one who was flying the drone. Um, and if you're trying to get shots like you saw before of me walking or walking sideways, I have the remote in my hand just out of shot, which is can be done. Is it a pain? Yes, it's a pain to do that. So if I got a drone, I might get one of the ones that do tracking. But having said that, the bigger drones are apparently a lot more expensive and you have to register them and all sorts of things so this one i know you don't have to register it i think you have the id in switzerland i have no idea but where we were in namibia we were on private property flying the drone i got special permission from the owner of the property to fly the drone so i was absolutely fine with that and if you're not possible to if it's not possible for you personally to get permission always just look and see where you what you should or shouldn't be doing with your drone but disclaimer i got permission to fly the drone in the space that we were flying it in so the next thing is the wind resistance and here is a bit of footage for you and you can really see that the the grass it's difficult because there's no of course there's no um there's no microphone on the on the drone but if you look at the grass you can see that it is very windy and it did pretty well i took as well some footage of me up on top of a little hill and there again, it was very windy, but the drone managed it. And it got to a point where it starts to really like beep at you because it can, it can sense that the wind is too strong and you simply bring it back. And I was very surprised at how good it was in the wind, how stable it was. And honestly, I had, I had very little problems with it. But one problem that I did have, or what that I noticed in post was the HDR so basically that is the difference or how the camera or sensor can read the very dark areas in the photo and the very light areas here is some footage of a lion very lower light and you can see here that it is really struggling also here I did a zoom in with the two times zoom effect that you can do with this um, drone but for me the quality is not good enough um, I would say to you if you wanted to have it more zoomed in in post I simply using DaVinci Resolve 17 point whatever I think it's now going up to 18 but I zoom in 
in post-production rather than using the zoom function while you're taking video footage. I have to admit I didn't use it to take a picture with but from if it, the video footage is anything to go like then probably the photos would be the same. It's similar to that like iPhone zoom in effect. As soon as you start zooming in you lose a lot of quality and it's the same with the sensor. One of the major things with this little drone however is the 4K footage and the price. So you're getting beautiful 4K footage for $500 for the Flymore combo. I think it's $450 for the standard set with just one battery in it. Um, but if you do film at the 60 frames per second in 1080p, it's okay, 60 frames per second for sure. You can do some slow, some slow motion stuff, but the difference in the quality between the 1080p and the 4K was massive. At least what I can see in post on a big widescreen screen, which I use with my as a computer. So, would I recommend the slow motion? Not really, and for me that would right now for the kind of work that I want to do in the future it might push me away from this particular drone and I think that that is more of a professional although not really but you know what I mean to get to get a 4k footage that can be 60 frames per second it makes a big difference and of course the dream is the 120 frames per second in 4k that's really where you can get some very very nice cinematic shots with the drone which is fantastically cool and I have an idea in my head about what I what I want to try and capture and it's only going to be able to happen if I have 120 frames per second and that is the only thing that I think would push me into the other drones um, but those come at a higher cost so for me this is the perfect user-friendly entry-level drone as I say I'd never flown a drone before I wanted to see what it would be like how it can improve my videos and I was so so happy with this little drone and I did some professional work for our brand sponsor who is not sponsor of the channel but sponsor of our company and they're called Maya Maya. I did a video for them that sequence of, of drone shots that you saw in the beginning of this video formed part of the stuff that I did for them as well so that worked really well they were very happy so in terms of a of a professional side can it be used in a professional manner and it's absolutely it can be used in a professional manner so and I've done it firsthand and got great great feedback so in that way it can be very very nice I didn't use it with ND filters which is probably one of the things that you could do in order to better that HDR basically that those, those light dark areas sorry so talking about the line before in low light it's very it struggles a lot as you saw with that line footage but as well if you have bright skies which I can actually show you some footage of as well um, if it's very very bright and very dark it really struggles and it loses a lot of the the details in the in the in the bright areas and in the dark areas as well but overall if your lighting as seen here I'll put the little clip up here of the of the zebra running again um, that was filmed morning time nice soft light bit of a golden hue to it so if you're flying it in really good lighting conditions you don't have to worry Oopala. you don't actually have to worry about those um, high br very bright and very dark areas so for me in that setting I think you can overcome this by filming in the right lighting situations but of course not all of us have that luxury so those ND filters might be something you want to look into personally I've never used them so absolutely go for it and if your budget can afford it get those in as well I hope you enjoyed today's video and all the shots in it I look forward to seeing new faces on the channel so go ahead hit that subscribe hit that like and the notification bell so you know when we'll be releasing our next video and until next time bye bye